Up on 30, announced. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Ernie Anastas for Roger Grimsby, plus Warner Wolf, Spencer Christian. That's right, Eyewitness News with Warner Wolf doing sports. Not on Channel 9 in Washington, but on Channel 7, WABC in New York City. It's been nearly four years since Warner left Washington, where he was more than just a sportscaster for Channel 9 News. He was Washington's number one local news celebrity. Everyone knew Warner, his brash style and much-anticipated boo of the week. And then, the big break. ABC Sports lured him away. A network contract. New York City, the big time. Success, right? Not exactly. I wasn't uh, the highlight of ABC, and I'm sure... Uh, that wasn't one of my <laughs> highlights, but hey, you know, it was a good experience. Terrific experience. It's funny, it's, the network part started off great, you know, with the scoreboard, and uh, I was the wide world of sports host and the Olympics. Wow, it was, you know, it was terrific. Monday night baseball, and then something <laughs> happened. Exactly what happened, Warner won't say. But it was a rough year for Warner at ABC until his bosses finally recognized Warner's greatest strength. If there was a problem with the network, it was that I was not allowed to be myself. Now, fortunately here at WABC, they have let me be myself, say what I want, put on uh, my own highlights, my own commentary, that's it. So I am myself, and that's the only way I work. Warner is now the top sportscaster in the biggest sports town in the country, New York City. That's a long way from Pikeville, Kentucky, where Warner got his first professional radio job. He learned the radio business there and worked his way back to his hometown of Washington in the mid-60s. 1965, I went to WTOP radio. And at that time, the president of the station was John Hayes. And I'd been working there about six months, and Mr. Hayes came up to me and said, Warner, we're going to try this new concept. It's never been done in Washington. It's called talk radio. Can you do a sports show on there? Can you pick up the phone and say, 244-6400, you're on the air? I said, yeah, I think so. And from that day, I guess if I owe any success to, to anything I've achieved, uh, it would have to be directly to that radio sports show because the people just, uh, it just, you know, it just came on and uh, each year it got bigger and, uh, wow. That was it. It wasn't long before the manager of WTOP-TV took note of Warner. He said, you're on. That's it. You're going to sink or swim with you. He said, people are going to criticize you, and they're going to criticize me because of your style. It hasn't seen, but I'm sticking with you. Greatest vote of confidence I've ever had. When you first started with you and Max and Gordon, was it immediately obvious that there was something there? I think so. Yeah. Wow. It was... Uh, two of the best broadcasters in the business. And, uh, you know, history shows that. Mm -hmm. Not that they're uh, on their way down or anything, you know. They still have a lot of years, but wow, I think the, the combination was great. Back in the old days, working with Max and Gordon, Warner would occasionally have a guest on with him. This was 1974, and Warner's guest was a unique wrestler. Andre the Giant. Uh, he came in, you know, uh, here I am, five foot six, and uh, Andre is seven foot four. He weighs 480, although I think he's been on a diet now. He's down to 450. And uh, it, it was just so incredible, incredible to me as we shot the interview how bigger he was than me. <laughs> I mean, most people are anyway, but this is just ridiculous. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get away. Excuse me. Let me... <laughs> Poking fun at himself and exchanging one-liners with the anchors are part of Warner's unique style. But his most famous trademark has to be the boo of the week. Now, that actually started when Warner was in high school. All the guys I hung around with said, boo, you going to do that? Boo, don't boo. I wouldn't do that. That's a boo, man. You're wrong. That's a boo. So everything was a boo. So when I got on the air, I guess I'd carry this over. And a, I don't know, a player dropped the ball. I said, oh, boo, give him a boo. So then from give him a boo to a boo of the week. Warner's working day in New York is pretty much what it was in Washington. Screening tapes, checking the papers and wires for sports news, calling around for inside information, getting the things he needs for his three or four minute show within a show. WABC's Eyewitness News is already on the air by now. 
While dozens of people are dealing with the controlled chaos that is a news program, Warner is putting the finishing touches on his script, a script that reflects his inimitable style. Up on 30, announce. When the red light goes on, Warner casts his magic using a combination of expertise, charm, and videotape. Lots of videotape. Let's go to the videotape of that game. Here is Nate Archibald from outside. Swish! But the Hawks took over. Tom McMillan. Swish! You remember Tom, University of Maryland? Swish! And McMillan with a stuff. Do it, Tom. And the Hawks by 21 at the half. Second half, Charlie Chris. Swish! And Dan Roundfield, everybody, swish. swish. And the Hawks win it 120 to 92. Finally, believe it or not, Daryl Dawkins has done it again. Let's go to the videotape of last night's Philadelphia San Antonio game. It's the final period. Philadelphia leads by nine. Dawkins says, Give me a backboard. Collins to Dawkins, and that's Ooh. it. He did it again. Oh. One man wrecking crew, Daryl Dawkins. One more time, Daryl, and that's oh. it. And Dawkins breaks another one. Fortunately, no one injured. There is the whole rim and backboard, and Dawkins took a standing ovation. This is Warner Wolf. Very much the same Warner Wolf. Now he works in the star-filled galaxy of New York Network Sports, the top city, the top personalities, the top dollars. But come on! Warner isn't kidding when he tells you that Washington is still home. Washington is the greatest place to live, and I, I really hope someday we can come back there not only live there, but work there again in, in, the, in the future. I'd like to. And come on, folks. Do you think Warner Wolf would lie to you? <laughs> we'll be right back with our PM Magazine departments.